Hey, Summit family. Uh, it's time for our year interview again. And it's crazy to think that we're already at this point. And, uh, and I always get excited about sharing what God has done in the previous year. And this year is no different. It looks a little different than it has in years past. We are accustomed to seeing uh, the numbers trending up and to the right. That we are continuing to grow in, in just about every way we measure. And this year looks different. Uh, COVID put a, a crimp on our plans. But I want you to know something. God is still good. God still did some incredible things. And I'm, I'm excited about sharing some of that with you. Um, one of the things that we've seen is steady, um, reliable growth in our attendance at Summit Church. And that's one of the things that looked a little different this year. So leading up to uh, our quarantine and the online only uh, in March, we were seeing uh, ten- attendance continue to grow. Uh, for the, the quarter, the first quarter of the year, we averaged almost 1,400 per uh, people per weekend in attendance at Summit Church. Uh, as we got closer to the spring, we actually were up around 1,500 per weekend. And so we were seeing some good momentum, some good excitement, and then COVID hit and we went online only. And during that period of about 12 weeks, uh, we just had services that we broadcast online and our production team, our, our pastors, our staff did an incredible job. They worked harder than ever during that season. So we, we were averaging about 1,400 people leading up to the, the shutdown. And then we restarted in-person services in June. And it looked dramatically different at that point. There were a lot of people that were nervous about COVID. Uh, there were some people, frankly, that just were out of the habit of coming to church. And so from... Uh, from that point in June till the end of the year, the second half of the year, we averaged 626 people per weekend. On average, we averaged for the year 810 people per worship, uh, per weekend at Summit Church. For 2020, our expenses were $2,656,358.25. But that also includes $800,000 of spending on Blairsville, which that 800,000 includes the purchase price of all three properties that we bought. It includes the taxes that we had to pay, and it also includes the renovation costs. So we had a, a one-time expense of 800,000 on this year that makes our numbers artificially inflated. Uh, our income grew as well. So our total income went up 14.5% in 2020 over 2019. Now I do wanna let you know about something. That number is $2,430,759.83, but it includes a, a, a loan from the federal government. If you look at this and you're decent at math, you know that we finished the year uh, about $226,000 in the red. And if you are are uninformed, you don't want your finances to be in the red. Uh, this is the second time since I've been the pastor here that we finished the year with higher uh, expenses than income. And the first time, I think it was about a $20,000 difference. And this time, obviously, it's a little higher. We expected that, though. That's where we dipped into our savings. We were preparing for this. So in all, we're still in a very healthy position. Um, there's no reason to panic or be nervous. And that's why I want us to dig a little deeper into some specific numbers. Uh, and tithe and offering for 2020 was $2,164,335.99. And so that represents about a 14% increase from the previous year. And so in spite of a pandemic, in spite of financial stress, people are stepping up and people are beginning to tithe for the first time and it's exercising generosity. And I just wanna say thank you for that. Our actual operating expenses were $1,856,367.70. So what I want you to know is two things. Number one, um, that is below what we budgeted for this year. So our we spent less than we expected and our income was greater than we expected. So if we hadn't had the $800,000 expense of Blairsville this year, which is well worth it by the way, um, we, would have, we would have been able to say we were almost $400,000 in the black. That's a 17% margin between our income and our expenses for 2020, which is pretty incredible. So if you take out the payroll protection from the federal government, you take out the Blairsville, um, it's a 17% margin and, and that's incredible. And God is so good, he's so faithful. So I just want you to know that we are doing our best to be good stewards of everything that comes in. We are uh, counting the costs, we're paying attention, and we wanna honor God and honor you with the tithe and offering.
If you've been around Summit, you understand that there are five key areas of ministry that we focus on. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is our other ministries. And in 2020, we spent $317,798.35 on other ministries. And that includes the, our young adult ministries, our ministries for, for women, for men, um, all the different things we do like that. Uh, and it's incredible to see what God did. This year, uh, we were able to start with a, several other churches, a ministry called United on Tuesday nights, that we're able to partner with other churches in our area to reach people who maybe would be uncomfortable walking into one of our churches normally. Um, we were also able to, to do uh, our women's conference. She is totally online and our production team and our worship team stepped up and, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of women all over the United States, and in fact, in different countries throughout the world, were able to tune in and watch and, and get connected with the ministry here at Summit Church. So we were able to pivot and adjust and do some incredible things this year, even though it looked a little different than it has in the past. The next thing I wanna tell you about is our small group ministry. As I said, we want you to grow in your relationship with God, and we believe that happens when you grow in your relationship with others. We saw people joining small groups this last year because we were able to do them online. We adjusted and shifted how we did those. And so we saw many people joining small groups from all over the United States. They were joining those groups virtually. And it was exciting to see how people got involved and got connected. And in, in 2020, we spent $239,959.68 on small group ministry. Summit Youth and Kids are two of my favorite areas of ministry. I love seeing what God is doing in, in those places. Um, and both Pastor Christina and Pastor Ricky did an incredible job of shifting how they do ministry this last year. Um, Pastor Christina started filming all of the weekends and, and putting those online for people. Uh, Pastor Ricky, uh, they were doing daily devotionals where they were inviting leaders to do those and students to do those. And it was incredible to see how people stepped up and got involved. And, and I want you to know this year, uh, we've seen kids saved in youth. We've seen children saved in kids' church. We even saw parents reach out because their kids made decisions watching the services online. And so they'd reach out and say, hey, give us the information. We want, uh, we want to help our kids be discipled. And so I just want you to know, um, our teams are doing a great job of reaching kids and youth in multiple ways, not just with in-person gatherings. But this last year, we spent $328,807.63 on our youth and kids ministry here at Summit Church. I love the weekends at Summit because it's an opportunity for us to gather together, connect, see each other. Uh, for those of you that have to watch online for right now, uh, I can't wait to be with you in person again. But in 2020, we spent $494,506.42 on weekend experiences. It's not just because we want to have a good service, but it's because we want to create an environment, an atmosphere for people to meet Jesus, for people to, to meet God. And so we wanted to do that even when we went online. We had some extra expenses and costs that we incurred in order to make sure that online was, experience was as excellent as possible. You know, one of the areas I get excited about every year is our missions and outreach, because this is a sign of what we're doing, not just in our house, but actively working to try to reach people who don't know Jesus and don't know God and may be far from him. So many of the things that we regularly do, we had to shelve because of COVID, because of some of the protocols and concerns. But with that said, we didn't stop doing ministry. We just shifted. And so there's things that we picked up and began doing that we weren't able to do before. So we did things like Double the Impact this year, where we asked people to donate money and we would take that money to buy gift cards from local businesses, and then we would bless first responders with those gift cards. Um, over $10,000 came in for us just to give away to people through Double the Impact, and it was an incredible um, ministry to the people who received the gift cards, but what a blessing it was to the businesses we were able to bless as well. And there are so many things we did uh, through this season to minister to people's needs, and I just wanna say thank you for that. In, in total, this last year, we spent $449,680.04 on missions, and that includes our uh, what we just give away in cash, it includes our missions efforts, work we do, all the different stuff. I just want you to know we're making a huge impact, and, uh, and things you do personally, like Feed One, or your personal mission support is not included in this as well. In this as well, so there are so many things we're doing to reach the world that we can't even measure with this number. So thank you again for your radical generosity to help us reach people other people aren't reaching. In 2020, we added 46 new members 
to Summit Church, 46 people who said, uh, I'm going to be on the front lines. I'm going to be responsible for this church. It's not about consuming. It's about contributing and serving and blessing and being used by God. And so I just want to say thank you for the 46 people who stead, stepped up. Uh, before COVID started, we had 23 people per weekend on average attending Growth Track. Now, after the shutdown, we were offering uh, Growth Track at that point, and then we went to online. But I want to celebrate. 93 people stepped up and said, I'm going to begin to serve this year. I'm going to get involved, even in the midst of a crisis, even in the midst of a pandemic. We only had one baptismal service this year. We had 22 people stepped up and went public with our faith, and it was such a great experience. I'm proud to tell you that in 2020, we saw over 362 people make decisions for Christ um, in our weekend services. And that is why we do what we do. That's why we have church. And it doesn't matter how many people show up on a weekend. I want you to know something. We are going to continue to proclaim the goodness of God. We're going to continue to preach the cross that Christ crucified for us. And there's new life found in him that every life can be made different. And as we do, we're going to see lives change, people transformed. And that's why we do what we do. I don't know what's going to happen in 2021, uh, but this is what I do know. God is good. God's in control. And we can trust him. So thank you so much for your the part you played in 2020. Whatever your role was, I just want to say thank you for that. But like, get ready, buckle up because God's about to do something incredible this year. God bless you. Thank you for watching.